Okay, welcome to another serial of um, the campaign on the backyard garden. That we're encouraging people to see that every family owns a backyard garden. Every family owns a backyard garden. So if you've not started, I want to appreciate all my followers. Those of you that have started, have been receiving messages from you that you have started. And we are, we are offering guide on how you can grow your backyard garden so we are bringing information as we got backyard garden boom back to boom back back to back so don't miss out of any of our information if you are not following make sure that you watch all the pre previous videos that we have been posting on these two platforms facebook and youtube channel so if you are new in this platform make sure that you click on the follow button on facebook and follow us if you are new in my youtube you know channel make sure that you click on the subscription button and subscribe click on the notification bell to follow us now let's go to what we have today okay so now uh, we want to we want to talk about uh, the formation of the fruit that's from the flower to the fruit now you can see this is a cluster this is what we call cluster so you can see the fruit have can see one two three four five so these five fruit already developed and we have one two three being aborted in this very cluster okay now let me also show you something here so you can see this very cluster we have your one two three being formed then five here this one is also developing this one is uh, is pollinated so you would form now we have one two that is being aborted now in this cluster you have one two three four five six that are all gone now i want to explain this to you i want to explain this to you as a backyard gardener and at the same time as a commercial farmer most people have this challenge it's not uh, peculiar to a particular variety of tomato but there are certain things some of the things we we decided to allow it to happen in this farm in this backyard garden so that we can be able to explain now since we've planted we have not applied anything that contain calcium. So I'm going to mention certain factors that can lead to this. This is what we call blossom dropping. This it has formed you know, like this one now. You see, these are the flowers coming out. But certain times you discover that not all of them will form just like this one. Please follow me. If you have any question, you can drop, drop on the comment section. We would respond to that. Now, you look at this one, this is a flower, a cluster that flowers are forming. You can also see this as a flower are forming. But you discover at the end of the day, some would end up being like this. This is what we call blossom droppings. Blossom droppings. Take note, not blossom end rot, because this is not disease. This blossom droppings, or we call fruit abortion. Fruit or flower abortion, okay? So now you see this one, the fruit has already started forming. Now, we want to look at what are the possible causes of this. Number one is poor watering. If you don't water your, your crop fine, for instance, now you can see that everywhere is wet. That means it's not a problem of watering. we have been able to water it fine. Now, the second thing I mentioned that poor watering can lead to this blossom dropping. Then the second thing that can lead to this blossom dropping is lack of calcium. Lack of calcium. Now, here we, we need to add calcium to it. I will make another video on how we can apply and how we can source for calcium locally and apply in a farm. But you, I'm trying to just look at what can lead to this blossom end rot. Some blossom dropping, not blossom end rot, but blossom dropping. So many people, or we call it fruits or flower abortion. So many farmers have asked me on this. So that's why I'm making this video right now. So you have seen this. So the potential one, two, three, four, five, six fruits is all gone because of lack of cashew. So that has um, led to this. Then the third thing I want to talk about that are responsible for the causes of these uh, blossom droppings or fruit abortion is lack of pollination. Now, you know, cucumber needs like a butterfly bee. So if I missed out on my video on pollination go back and check both on my youtube channel on my facebook i made a video on pollination how to double your cooking production so but for this they don't really need those things like uh the bee 
butterfly can help and every other thing like that can help but it is very simple that when you are able to release tre your tomato this way when breeze come just a shake like this a shake like this help to pollinate help to bring up you know pollination just to shake the flower you know be able to you know get it pollinated okay so this is how it can be done you can just shake it even you you hold this and shake like this so, so those three things are the basic thing that i know from my personal experiences in the farm you may ask any other one if you know in the comment section that can also lead to this uh, fruit abortion or flowers abortion you know i mentioned you know not watering it's fine for it to assess whatever on the ground i've talked about lack of calcium and lack of pollination can lead to this so these are the basic three things so stay tuned in the next video i will talk about how we can be able to correct this issue of blossom dropping in tomato thank you